Good afternoon everybody. It's Wednesday. It's four, just gone 4.30 um, in the UK. My name is Lynn, Lynn Fay, and I am uh, stamping with Lynn Fay on Facebook. So, um, yep, yeah, just literally finished work about 10-15 minutes ago, which is a bit later than I would normally. So I've been running around uh, trying to get my workstation set up. Good afternoon, Barbara, or Babsy, I'm waving at you. Thank you for joining me this afternoon. It's a bit grey, isn't it? But um, it's bright inside my front room. I'm doing some uh, crafting. So hello, Tracy and Sean. Good afternoon. Hope you both are all well. And uh, yep, it's Wednesday, middle of the week. So, um, hi Tracy. <laughs> Every time I look at my back door, I think of you guys because of my, um, my dream catcher or my, you know, the sun catchers on my door. So I love it and I can't not get um, you out of my head when I see that. Oh, I could have broken into a bit of Kylie there. I just can't get you out of my head. Um, so it's uh, been a busy old day, actually. I've not really stopped, but I have got a... Um, Oh, hi, Karen. How are you? What's it like with you weather-wise? It's a little bit grey. haven't really had much rain today, but it has been very grey. So I was almost contemplating putting the light on to do my Facebook Live. But thankfully, it's not that dark. So what's your week been like, everybody? Mine's not been too bad, as I say. Um, running around. haven't done any crochet in this week. Um, I haven't really done much crafting to be honest but um yeah I'm gonna do some crafting tonight with you so now that I've got <laughs> way to go Lynn I love you Babsy um so I uh I've done a card a mock-up card um using the Daisy Lane suite I'll show you when I turn you around otherwise everything's back to front um I'm gonna change it up a little bit so I'm gonna do a bit of wing it Wednesday um I think I know what I want to do, but let me flip you around. So, there you go, you can see everything here. So this is the stamp set that we're going to be using today. It's called Daisy Lane. It's £21 um, and it's in the, um, it's, it's a carried over one. So it's in the annual catalogue on page 20, but it was in the catalogue last year as well. And as you can see, I'm just using a few of the stamps. So I'm going to be using this one. Good afternoon, Emma. Oh, my goodness. I have got Emma Goddard, who is the Facebook queen, the artisan. Oh, I'm Martin. Oh, my goodness. OK, gosh. Well, thank you all for joining me. Um, yeah, Daisy Lane Suite is in the annual catalogue. I'm going to be using the big daisy and the punch. I'm going to be using one of the sentiments. Not quite sure which one. Hi, Emma. Oh, my goodness. I've got stamping royalty <laughs> and I'm going to be using this little stamp here. Um, I've got quite a few punches, um, so let's just see. But this was the mock up that I was going to make. So I was going to show you how to colour with white ink, but I'm not going to do that this time because I'm not particularly happy with how it turned out. But if you look at the um, the daisy, <laughs> if you look at the daisy, you'll see that I've embossed it. Can you see I've embossed it? There you go. Um, and I've done a several layers with the actual punch. Um, I've used a different punch to do the leaves and then I'll show you what this comes from. Um, but as I say, I've, I've tried to do it with the white ink, but I'm actually going to stamp with the white ink this time. So um, and I've just done a, a simple insert as well. So that's what I've what I was trying to do. But I think I might do a completely different card today. So I'm going to leave that there. So as normal, I always do um, my card blank. So this is um, half of an A4. So it's cut at 10 and a half inches this way, uh, 10 and a half centimetres. And then it's scored um, at, what is it, 14.8. So you get two card blanks out of a sheet. So if you imagine that's more than half. So you'd score it and then you'd cut it. So that's my card blank. So I'm just going to make sure that I crease the edge so that it um, it stands up nicely. So it is actually going to open up that way. Uh, you could do it that way, but I'm going to do it that way. So I've just dropped something. So 
not to worry. Um, so now I've got a layer which is um, third, uh, nine centimetres, nine and a half centimetres by 13 and a half. And that's going to go on there, unlike my original card, which was completely one base. I, I decided it needed a little bit of white. So I'm just going to put the card base to one side for the moment. And I'm going to, with this lovely daisy stamp, um, I'm going to use the Whisper White, and this one's quite an old one. Um, good afternoon, Rachel. So, um, so yes, yeah, so I'm just going to use my white ink. It does take a little while to dry, so I might use my heat embossing gun. So I'm just going to gently tap, make sure that I've got it all in the right place. Just going to start to... Um, oh, lovely, thank you, Emma. Um, so I'm just going to start changing it up a little bit let me bring you down a little bit so you can see what I'm doing okay make sure you can see um, so I'm just going to do some random stamping uh, here we go just so that we get a nice background so as I say I was looking at um, doing this in grey and then colouring in in white but I think this May end up being the easier way of doing it so already you can see oh hi Jenny oh she sends her love she'll cut up when she gets oh she's not finished she's not working today oh, okay so as you can see this one what I did was I stamped it in grey and then I went over with my white um, ink and a little paint brush and an aqua brush and just coloured it in so that it looked a little bit um, like a daisy however I've decided to do this for speed oh she's been out all day and I'm just going to add a little white bit there so already I've changed up the background but you could do either so I'm just going to quickly with my heat embossing tool just quickly dry it because this ink stays wetter for longer so I'm just going to quickly set it doesn't matter that it's curling up a little bit because I am actually going to stick it down on my card and I think by the time I've done all the other bits and pieces then this should be a little bit dry okay so let's put that to one side there already so you can see the one that I was looking at doing and the one that I am doing I'm going to clean this off with my chamois and uh, absolutely love this and I just keep it closed in one of our thin um, cases from stamping up the uh, stamp cases there we go and then you just need to keep make sure that it's it's still damp okay so let's just put that to one side I'll put that to one side and let's take the ink and close it so now I'm going to use some whisper white cardstock and I'm going to stamp up with some Versamark, which is the watermark um, ink, um, which stays really sticky. And I'm just going to ink up that daisy stamp um, with some Versamark. And a good tip is to make sure that you have it in a cross so that when you get your punch to punch it out later, you make sure that you can still slide it in that way or that way. Whereas if you do it at an angle, you can't get your punch in. But I'll show you what I mean. Um, so I'm going to stamp out three complete flowers in Versamark. So there. Can you, yeah, you can just about see that, can't you? In the light. Okay. And another one here. It's harder to see when you haven't got um, any embossing powder or any ink, coloured ink on it. So I'm just going to do the fourth one because the fourth one is going to be for the middle of my flower, as you can see. OK, so that's all four. Yep, you can just see them. So I'm just going to get my piece of copy paper. I'm not worried about the embossing buddy on this one because um, white on white isn't an issue. So I'm just going to tip the ink over there 
tip it back in. Can you see that? Beautiful. I don't think I've missed anywhere. Nope. So let's move that out of the way because I do still need that afterwards. So let's do that. Okay, quickly heat those up. So try and get it so you can see it on the camera. I still think it's really magical when it starts to turn. Okay, there we go. There we are. Might not show up very much for you. Uh, I did think about cutting all these out and preheating them, but I thought if you don't know what I'm doing, you won't know and you'll miss out on all the fun. Hi, Vicky or Victoria, how are you? Long time no see. I hope that you and your boys and your husband are well. I'm just making a a quick and simple card using the Daisy Lane stamp set. So let's just make sure we've got all of this. Last one. Okay. I think. I think that's it. Let's have a little look. Make sure that I've got any dark spots means I haven't caught the ink. There we go. Oh good, I'm glad you're all well. I do follow you on Facebook and see that the boys are doing well. It must be difficult during this time with uh, everything like everybody else. So, as you can see, they're my four flowers. This was the original uh, card I was going to make and I'm just changing it up a little bit with the background. So I'll leave that in the corner there. So, with the punch for the daisy, I'm just going to turn it up the other way because it's much easier to slide it in um, when you actually can see it. Just make sure it's lined up as you can see. Punch it out, so that's one. Okay, oh, okay. let's punch that out and get that out of there. Turn this one round. And again, as I say, if you have it so that you've got a cross, you'll be able to get your paper in and out quite easily. Well, hello, my BFF. Where have you been? Lovely to see you, Nikki. I miss you. We need a Facebook um, a video or something, don't we, to, to, do, to do some crafting. Now, this one I'm not so worried about because that's going to be the centre of my flower. So we need to do a WhatsApp video or a FaceTime, Nikki. So put that one in. So that's my flowers. It does get a little bit caught on there, but that's because there's so many bits and pieces in there. Okay, so I have four flowers, but this one is going to be my centre. So what I'm going to do with my paper snips, just going to cut those little bits off around where the stippled bit of the daisy is. And I'll show you what I'm going to do with that. Okay, so that's that bit there. Let's get rid of all of this. Whoops. Okay, throw that away. Now, with my daubers, I've got a few of them that are well loved. This one I'm going to use with some Mango Melody. Flip it open and just going to do that and I'm going to colour the middle of the flower this spiky bit that's got all the lovely bits on it okay so that's the center of my flower I'm just gonna put that away for a bit okay so now with my bone folder I'm just going to very lightly give them a little bit of shape on the top one and the next one really and it's just between my finger and the bone folder just very lightly to give it a little bit of shape and the last one okay right and now with some glue put some glue on the middle of that one I'm just going to offset it slightly because I want three layers so let's do that one put some more glue on this one 
and offset it slightly here. There we go. So that now it's a complete flower. And then some glue on the middle. And I do actually have my pickup tool. Doesn't help picking up the fellas though, unfortunately, but it does for my crafting. So yeah, so I'm gonna put that there. There we go, so that's the center. So that's, I'm gonna actually pull some of those bottom ones down on the third layer just so that when it goes on the card it's got a little bit more depth can you see okay so that's coming along so what else what am i doing next okay i am going to do the leaves so i've got some of the old olive leaf uh, old olive cardstock and i've got one of the uh, punches that's got the three leaves and i'm going to turn it over Punch out one, two, oops, stuck in there, and three of the leaves. Okay, and again, very briefly, with my bone folder, just very, very gently give the leaves a little bit of shape and then put that in the middle and squeeze the paper around it, and then you get like a the crease and the vein down the middle of the the leaf. Okay, so I'm going to do that on all three of them. You do love a daisy. Yeah, me too. Me too. So again, just squeezing that, squeezing that, and it just gives it a little bit of dimension. And the last one, I'm just going to, not going to bend it up because this is going to Hello, Cuz. What are you doing watching me? How are you? How's little Molly? Not so little anymore, I guess. Not so little. Okay, so I'm making a card and I've cut out and stamped my daisies. Um, I've done my leaves um, and I'm now going to... What am I going to do next? The insert. So I think I have some card. Let's just have a little look. Yep, I've got some card. So what I'm going to do is with this stamp... I'm going to ink it up using, should I do, no, I'm going to mix it up, I'm going to do the, the Melon Mambo, no, Mango Melody, <laughs> oh dear, there's no hope today, is there, just very, very gently tap, tap, tapping on the ink, and you can't see what I'm doing, there we go, so let me pull up a little bit, and then you can see, here we go, so that's now in Mango Melody for the inside of the card, so I'm just going to pop that in there for the moment, put that ink away okay and then put that away so to get the sentiment on there who's to say that the jar of flowers punch can't be a sentiment holder so all I did was I stamped using uh let's move that out of the way the smile but I'm going to do the friend one not so little. 12 on Sunday. No. Where did that time go, Kate? Oh, my word. I'm just making sure that that's not got any ink on. So, blimey. I'm just going to tap, tap, tap with the Versamark, which is the clear ink. I'm going to press on there, friend, as you can see. And then with the white embossing powder, I am going to add little bit of the white powder okay tap it back out of the way there we go just very quickly get my heat gun turn it on and hopefully you will be able to see there we go Can you see it turning white rather than dull okay what a beautiful font this one is so that's done and the reason I, I stamped it first was because where did I put it oh, there we go hi Carol wing it Wednesday I'm actually going to put it in here right so I need to cut some of this off in order to in order to get that closer so jar of love or jar of flowers rather I can make sure that I get that 
right on the edge there like that. Okay. And Brenda, good afternoon. So I've just punched it, punched it out of the old olive. Let's put this out of the way. So that is the jar of flowers punch as my sentiment. And what I'm going to do is with some white thread, going to wrap it around, okay, several times. I might need a little bit more. Okay, right, so let's just cut that there. Um, just going to tie a bow. Got no nails today. I cut them all off yesterday because I've been scratching my eczema. There we go. So we should be all right. All fingers and thumbs. There we are. Okay. You can all still see that, can't you? So make sure I pull the bow in. Okay. So I reckon when we get that on the card, I just trim that a little bit that there. So who's to say that you can't use a jar of flowers punch as a sentiment. So let's just bring this in. Okay so I'm going to put some glue on the back of oh, glue on the back of this. I want to put it in around here. Okay can you see that let me it in a little bit closer and then I'm going to put some glue on the back of these just tuck them in behind the flower okay and I might have another one over there oh did I tuck that through there there we go and then I'm going to do the last one here you like that Jenny yeah, you know me, I like to utilise my punches as much as I can and get as much out of them as I can. Okay, and then I'm going to put some glue on the back of this and have it poking out at an angle, I think. So that's going there. Hi Angie, how are you? Doesn't look like a jar, I know. Well, I was trying to think of what I wanted to do and I wanted to wrap some, some thread around and I thought, what have I got? What have I got? Um, and I thought, right, I've got some punches. I didn't want to get my big shot out this time. So as I say, when you look at it um, level and then you look at it slanted. Uh, oh, I put that up on them. Um, oh, I can do another one, can't I? I can do another one. Well, actually, no, I'll keep that one flat. So now I'm going to put this on the front of my card. So I'm just going to add the glue all over there. Make sure it's opening up the right way. I'm sure many of you have decided you've done a masterpiece and then you've realised that you've stuck it on upside down. And then I'm just going, I know it's white inside, but let's just add this in here. Okay, so we'll add a pop of colour of the mango melody inside. Okay. We might need a few jewels, so let's do that. So at the moment, two cards made with the same stuff, but completely different. So I know I've got a pick up, pick me up tool, but or a pick up tool, but I'm gonna use them just for the moment. Oop. So let's do that there, and let's go for a little one. What do you reckon? One there. And then let's put a big one. Let's have a look there. Um, one there. Maybe one more. Maybe we'll put it on there. So, very quick and simple. But what I'm going to do is I am going to show you how to do that. Um, very quickly on there because I've got some some grey here so literally you can see the difference in the two cards if you write down for me in the comments 
Do you prefer the grey one, the smile version or the friend version? Because as I say, they're exactly the same. On this one, I did actually use a bit of the grey um, smoky slate or grey granite around the edges to, to highlight it so it stood out. This one I haven't. So do you like the smile card, if you write smile, or the friend card? And I'm just going to stamp up with the, the, uh, the grey. Was it grey I used? I think it was the dark grey. Let's have a little look. Ah, I know what it was. I used the marker pen. Here we go. Right, so... You like the friend version, Babsy. OK, cool. Now, because my basic grey ink pad is almost run out, I'm going to use my basic grey marker pen. So with the thick end, you like the friend card too, Tracy. I'm just inking up the stamp with the side of my marker. And I'm going to randomly, if I move you over here, just going to randomly stamp now if you had the ink pad obviously you'd be using the ink pad but also you can utilize your marker pens if you didn't have lots of the inks you like the friend version jenny do you you like them both carol you like the friend one cool so let's have a look here so kate you're going to have to send me your your um home address on a private email if you like and then I can send you a card out so it's been ages since I've seen you and Molly and your mum and dad and oh, and Sarah and her little tribe who probably also aren't so little so do send them our love okay so I'm not going to do many but I'm just going to do a few as you can see it's quite quick and simple okay and I am just randomly putting them down OK, so let's go there and maybe one more off the edge. OK, and let's go like that. OK, so com again, completely different background, just using a grey marker, white ink or grey marker and then the white ink over the top. So let me bring you down a bit. Now, using one of our blender pens, and this one is years and years old. But if you check on the back of your hand, if it's still wet. Um, yeah, we should meet up for a social distance cup. Kate, okay, you're right. Um, I have actually used this one. So with my white ink, where did I put that here? Just going to move that one out of the way. Open it up. And I found the easiest way to do this is to use my block and put my block in my ink. And that becomes my ink palette. OK, so then what I've been doing, let me bring you closer. So I've been using the white ink and just very lightly keeping inside the lines, highlighting the, um, the daisy itself. So can you see that? And the longer I go on before I actually pull some more colour the lighter everything gets so I'm just pulling a little bit more very 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 lightly touching the image and I'm keeping the middle of the daisy very very um untouched with the ink so as you can see I've pulled off a little bit more there so I'm just going to re go over now if you go over too much it will start to go wet with the ink so we don't want that so I'm just trying to... Oh, you've stopped. Why have you stopped? Can you still see me? Can you give me a thumbs up if you can still see me? Tell me. Can you see me? Is everybody still? Oh, yeah, you can see me. Thank you, Tracy. I don't know what happened there. It didn't stop at my end, so I'm not sure. So as you can see, I've just 
Oh, bless you all. Thank you. <laughs> Woohoo, you're back. So can you see how you can get a white effect off of a grey card? I'll carry on doing it because you're OK there, Babsy. Cool. What I can do is I can add some extra highlights just by dragging a little bit of the colour around the edge of the of the petals. So I'm not colouring it in again, I'm just highlighting a little bit as I go along. Now, you would only give this card to somebody if you imagine stamping as many as I had in this one. You'd only give that out to people you really care about because of the time you spent on it. So, as you can see, grey ink, grey with the white ink, or just the white ink. So you've got three different options there of using the same uh, uh, way of, oh, I can't get my words out, the same um, stamp set. So that is my very, very, very quick and simple tutorial using the card. So let me just flip you around. Here we go. Three, two, one, back in the room. Oh. <sighs> There we are. I've had to change my um, phone arm because the last one I'd used so much doing Facebook Lives and using it when I've been working that um, it just kept flopping. It kept going sideways and going, no, nah, not going to play. <laughs> so, um, so, yeah, that was uh, very, very quick. So most people liked this card best. Is that right? Have I got that right? The friend one. Um, and some of you liked the smile version. And as I say, when it dries, it does dry lighter. And you can see. So you've got several options. Um, if you don't have the white ink pad, you can actually use the white re refills. You know, the little ink refills. Um, so, yeah, something really, really quick and simple. I've got next door's dogs barking at the moment. So if you can hear that, they're not mine. I don't have no animals. I only have me and my crochet animals. Um, so it's quite punch heavy for me. Um, with all of these punches and things, but they are all still current and you can find the Daisy Lane stamp set on page 20 of the annual catalogue. Um, yeah, I, I went to a drive-in movie um, on Saturday um, over at Blenheim Palace and it was stunning. I would thoroughly recommend it. Um, Watch Dirty Dancing in my car and... Um, it, it was just lovely. I had a picnic, a little bottle of Prosecco because we were there for, you know, three or four hours. So I just had a little uh, drop of Prosecco because it was on my bucket list of things to do, an outdoor um, cinema. But sadly, because of Covid, oh, Rona, not Corona, but Rona, she um, she stopped us from getting out of the car. So we had um, we had everything inside the car. It was a lovely evening. I shall post some pictures on Facebook tonight. Um, and uh, yeah, had a really, really lovely time. So I, I would definitely do it again. I'd recommend it. Um, so I'm going to upload this video to um, YouTube straight after um, I've finished, which is very soon. So if you hadn't caught me live, then um, and you're watching me on the replay, thank you very much for joining me. Um, please do leave some comments because it's so lovely to hear from you and know that I'm not just presenting to to myself and talking to myself like I do all day um yeah and I will be back next Wednesday at 4 30 um and I will show you some more Facebook live stuff that I've been doing so thank you so much for joining me if you haven't got a demonstrator and you'd like to buy any of the products that you've seen me use today please um go to my website um you can go on my blog which is um linfay.co.uk and you'll see a, a click a click, click button to say shop now or you can email me at lynn.fay at gmail.com and I will happily get in touch with you talk you through anything anything that you spend in July uh, a 45 pound increments you get a four pound fifty um, bonus day voucher which you get to spend in August so um so yeah as i say anything you'd like to know oh good afternoon claire i didn't see you jump in apologies um so yeah if you'd like to contact me for a catalog or anything like that just let me know um and in the meantime please have a lovely week stay safe 
um, and uh, yeah look after each other lots of love and I'll see you soon bye